Hi there, welcome to Fast Tech. Have you ever tried to apply an Intel stock cooler only to have one of the pegs make it halfway through the hole, stubbornly refusing to go any further? If so, allow me to show you a quick way around this problem with my ugly ass fingernails all blowed up as fuck on the screen. Now before we begin, let's try to better understand the actual latching mechanism the stock cooler employs to secure itself in place. First, you'll notice two white barbs that protrude from the base of a movable shaft. Inside the shaft is a thin black peg that lowers and causes the barbs to expand and grip onto the bottom of the motherboard once through the hole. For those of you with a background in construction, this is effectively how a drywall anchor works. You drill a hole in the wall, insert the anchor, and then any screw you put into it is going to cause the anchor to expand and grip the wall. The reason a lot of stock coolers get stuck is because the black peg descends too early upon the initial application of pressure, resulting in a jam halfway down. To avoid this problem, do the following. Step 1. Turn the desired latching peg to the right. Step 2. Grip the black cylinder surrounding the movable shaft with your index finger and thumb and line the mechanism up with the corresponding motherboard hole. Step 3. Press the white barbs down into the hole until the hilt of the mechanism is flush with the board. Step 4. From above, use a third finger to press the black peg into place, which should in turn separate the white barbs and secure the mechanism. Repeat in a crisscross pattern for all four pegs. Well, there you have it folks, easy peasy, and if all this talk of movable shafts and pegging has you mildly aroused, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button for instant gratification. For me. Not you.